So now that we've done three different types of authentication, it's time to address authorization. So the difference here is authentication gets you in, authorization determines what you can actually access. So a common way of doing this is something called role-based access control. Let's imagine a scenario like a company like Reddit. So we have moderators and we have normal users. We'll think of moderators in this case as admins. So the admins can access routes that the normal users are not able to access, like kicking other users and things like that. So we need a way of identifying that a certain user is an admin and the other users are not. So we can use a Jin middleware and Firebase to achieve this, and it's actually really straightforward. This is usually a whole world of complexity when implementing role-based access control, but Firebase has a really nice built-in way to validate role-based claims, and uh, we'll, we'll explore that here. So go ahead and create a new file in mauth called rbac.go. This is going to be a util helper where we're going to define three functions. They're going to help us elevate the permissions of a regular customer to uh, admin. So in our example, moderator, but just let's call it admin. So the first function is going to be elevate to admin. So this will take a regular user's ID and we'll add an admin flag to their JWT claim. So we use client .custom user claims, and then we return an error if there's an error, otherwise we return nil. And let's wrap that with a little stack trace message so we get a nice log. Now our little moderator has been naughty, so we need to revoke their access. So again, we'll provide their UID and then we're going to call client.set custom user claims again and we're going to set that to nil so we're just clearing that admin flag that we set earlier and the third and final function here is going to be verify admin where we'll take the uid and it will just check against their claims to see if they're actually admin or not so someone's not going to be able to spoof this because this is actually uh, within the confines of the firebase permission so you can't just change your jwt it's the whole point so uh, here we just go if admin comma okay is equal to user dot custom claims and then if admin is bool then they're probably an admin so cool and otherwise print not admin back in our main file we're going to define three routes so this is all going to be under the admin group uh, we're going to have a post for elevating admin we're going to have a delete for revoking admin and a get for verifying admin so by calling the util functions that we defined earlier and getting the UID from the path parameter, as we've done in the other functions, we can quickly set up these three routes. Uh, the important parts are to return a 501 or an internal server error when we have an error. And then for the get admin route, return a status forbidden, which is the equivalent of not authorized. Now I'm gonna create a new folder here to organize the entity stuff for the data store that we did earlier and then duplicate that so that we can uh, create these admin endpoints. Then we want to go ahead and replace the v1 with admin and for authentication for these routes we're going to use both the JWT and the API key middleware so we'll use admin.use and then mauth.auth JWT and then pass the client and duplicate that line we're going to use one of them for the jwt and the other for api key so the admin must be logged in plus they also have to have that api key so in order to elevate someone you can't just let the public do that you need another admin to do it so they've already got special access so change that second one to mauth.auth api key and then pass the api key name Deploy that, and while that's deploying, add the X API key header as well as the JWT bearer token. Clean up this route here, and we're going to need to get from Firebase the user ID, and using an environment variable, we will paste that into the URL. So remember that UID that we put into the as a path parameter. We're going to need to add that at the end there. And now our JWT is going to have expired by now, so we need to update that. So go back to the React app, copy or refresh, and then copy the JWT, and then update that within your Insomnia environment variables. So after that's all finished off, we can invoke the get or the verify function, and you'll see a 403 forbidden. 
This is actually quite a, an annoying thing about the HTTP status codes is that the 401 is actually unauthenticated, even though it says unauthorized. And 403 is unauthorized, even though it says forbidden. So even though this user has their JWT and they have their API key, they're still forbidden. So they're authenticated, but not authorized. So this is because we've not elevated them to actually have access to that route. So invoke the elevate for your user and that should elevate him to an admin. And then when we hit verify again, we should now get a 200, which we do, amazing. And if we revoke and verify again, we should see it's now 403 again, so perfect. So that easily using Jin, Firebase and Go, we've created a role-based access control API route, which is pretty impressive.